Good morning, dear students. How are you all? Okay, so today I am going to discuss the questions that were asked by the students via Telegram group. Some doubts they were having, so they have clicked the photograph and they have sent the questions to me. Now I am going to clarify all the doubts today. So this question was asked by uh, Tanish Gupta. Okay, Tanish Gupta, class ninth. So let's see. He has asked that if x cube plus a x square plus b x plus six has x minus two as a factor and leaves remainder three when divided by x minus three, we need to find out the values of a and b. Okay, so let's see how to do this one. Now, if this has x minus two as a factor, so if I put the value of x is equals to two, the polynomial reduces to zero with the help of remainder theorem. So if I divide this polynomial by x minus two. What will be the remainder? Remainder will be zero. By remainder theorem, if x minus two equals to zero, x equals to two. So if I put x equals to two in this polynomial, the remainder must come out to be zero. So if I put x equals to two, what I get? Two ka cube plus a into two ka square plus b into two plus six. The remainder will be zero. So what I get? Two ka cube is eight plus four a plus two b plus six equals to zero. So 4a plus 2b plus 14 equals to zero, or 4a plus 2b equals to minus the 14. Divide the entire equation by 2. What I get? We'll get 2a plus b is equals to minus the 7. Let this be equation number one. So we have got one equation in a and b. That is 2a plus b equals to minus 7. Let us write it somewhere else because I have to rub it. So equation number two a plus b equals to minus seven. Let this be. This was equation number one. Okay. Let me write this now to find out the equation number two. Equation number two. Sure. Okay. Now, ha. Huh. Now leaves remainder three when divided by x minus three. When the same polynomial is divided by x minus three, what we what the remainder we get? We get remainder as three. So let us divide the given polynomial by x minus three. So x minus three equals to zero or x equals to three. If I put x equals to three in the given polynomial, the remainder is remainder is how much? Three. So let us put x equals to three. So three ka cube a into three ka square. I am putting the value of x as three now. Plus b into three plus six. The remainder will be three now, isn't it? I hope it is clear. Now three ka cube is twenty seven plus nine a plus three b plus six equals to three. So nine a plus three b adding thirty three equals to three, or you'll get nine a plus three b. Equals to minus का thirty, isn't it? Divide the entire equation by three, you'll get three a plus b is equals to minus ten. This is our equation number two. So we have got the two equations. That is two a plus b equals to minus seven, and second equation is three a plus b equals to minus ten. Okay, let us write this equation here as well. Three a plus b equals to minus ten. This is equation number two. Now we'll be solving both the equations to get the values of A and B. So we'll be solving both the equations to get the values of A and B. And I try to enjoy mathematics, isn't it? Unless and until you enjoy, you are not going to learn. Don't get bored. Mathematics is a very interesting subject. I hope so. So 2a plus b equals to minus 7 and 3a plus b equals to minus 10. Okay, subtract for them. If I subtract. What I get B and B cancel out. What you are left here minus A is equals to 10 minus 7, 3. So A is equals to minus 3. So the value of A you have got is minus 3. If I put the value of A is equals to minus 3 in any of the equations, suppose first one, if I put A is equals to minus 3, what I get 2 into minus 3 plus B is equals to minus 7. This will be minus 9 plus B is equals to minus 7. Or b is equals to minus seven plus nine, you will get b is equals to two. So the value of a is minus three and b is two. Let's move to the next question. 
Okay, the next question is we need to factorize 727x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 9xyz. This question was asked by Zara of class 9. Section I do know, this section she belongs. Okay, now this is a question we need to factorize this one. So this is 3 ka cube, isn't it? 3 ka, 3x ka whole cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 A B C. Now we need to verify whether this 3 A B C get reduced to minus 9 X Y Z or not. Okay. So 3 3 is a 9 X Y Z. Therefore which identity should uh, suits here? The identity that we know that A cube plus B cube plus C cube minus 3 A B C equals to A plus B plus C then a square plus B square plus C square plus AB plus BC plus CA. So we need to apply this identity here in order to factorize this one because it is of the form A cube plus B cube plus C cube minus 3 ABC. Isn't it? Now what is the value of A? The value of A is 3x, the value of B is y and C is z. So let us put all these values here. So I will get the value of A is 3x plus y plus z okay then a ki value kitni hai a is 3x to 3x ka square will be 3x ka whole square will be 9x square y ka square y square z square plus ab a is what 3x 3x and b is what y to ab kya hoga 3x into y you will get 3xy plus bc yz plus C A that is 3 X Z. So this is the required answer. This is the factorization of 27 X cube plus Y cube plus Z cube minus 9 X Y Z. I hope you have understood Zara. Now let's move on to the next question. Okay. So this question was asked by Shriyam Gupta. Okay. Shriyam Gupta class 9th. It is given that the line uh, A B C D this diagram is given. This is given W, this is X, this is Y and this angle is Z. We need and also given that X plus Y equals to W plus Z. What we need to prove? We need to prove that AOB is a straight line. We need to prove what? AOB is a straight line. Okay? So we'll be using converse of linear pair axiom to prove that AOB is a straight line. If somehow we are able to prove that either W plus Z equals to 180 or X plus Y equals to 180, then our task is fulfilled that by converse of linear pair axiom AOB will be a straight line. So let's see how to do this one. Now it is given that X plus C sum of all the angles is 180 W plus X plus Y plus Z is equals to 360 because it is a complete angle. It is a full circle, isn't it? Therefore sum of all the angles equals to 360 degree. Now it is given to us that x plus y equals to w plus z. So you can either replace w plus z equals to x plus y or x plus y equals to w plus z. Kuch bhi kar sakta ya to x plus y ko w plus z rakh do ya w plus z ko x plus y rakh do. Okay. So if I substitute the value of w plus z, w plus z ko I'll substitute as x plus y. So I'll get x plus y. I have put the values of w plus z as x plus y plus x plus y equals to 360. Okay, so this will be 2x plus 2y is equals to 360 or 2 we can take common x plus y. Okay, so 2x plus 2y equals to 360 or x plus y equals to 360 upon 2 that is 180 degree. So we have got x plus y equals to 180, isn't it? We have got x plus y equals to 180. So x plus y equals to 180, therefore by converse of linear pair axiom, AOB will be a straight line. So by converse of, of LPA, AOB is a straight line. Hence proved. So this question is asked by Akriti Agrawal, class 9 class. Okay, we need to factorize 2x square plus y square plus 8z square minus 2 root 2 xy plus 4 root 2 yz minus 8xz. Okay. Now, 
वी नो दैट ए प्लस बी प्लस सी का होल स्क्वायर इज वॉट इट इज ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी प्लस टू बी सी प्लस टू सी ओके नाउ लेट मी राइट दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एट सॉरी वाई स्क्वायर प्लस एट जेड स्क्वायर माइनस टू रूट टू एक्स वाई फोर रूट टू वाई जेड माइनस एट एक्स जेड ओके नाउ कैन बी राइट एज होल स्क्वायर वी कैन राइट रूट टू एक्स का होल स्क्वायर यस और नो लिख सकते हैं ना रूट ए स्क्वायर ओके Now this is y square. This is two root two z ka whole square. Eight z ko square ko kya likh sakte hain? Two root two z ka whole square. Then right here a b now see a b b c c a. In which of the two terms you find the negative sign? Hai na? Minus sign kis mein hai? Is mein hai aur is mein. Isn't it? Is mein hai aur is mein. Now what is common in both of them? If I write here a b BC और CA ऐसे लिखते हैं AB, BC एंड CA माइनस साइन किस में है माइनस साइन इज इन दिस वन एंड दिस एक्सप्रेशन ओके एंड व्हाट इज कॉमन A और A इज कॉमन इन बोथ एक्सप्रेशन एंड A डिनोट्स व्हाट A डिनोट्स द फर्स्ट टर्म इट मींस दैट दिस माइनस साइन इज जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द फर्स्ट टर्म वाज नेगेटिव दिस इज बिकॉज जस्ट बिकॉज द फर्स्ट टर्म वाज नेगेटिव सो This can be written as minus two uh, root two x का whole square. I hope it is very clear. Try to understand things. देखो, इसमें लिखा a b b c और c a, ठीक है? और इसमें ये दोनों term negative हैं, है ना? ये दोनों term negative हैं. इसमें क्या common है? A common है दोनों में. A a denotes what? A denotes the first term. It means that this negative sign is just because of the first term. That is why I have taken first term as negative. That is minus root two x का whole square. है ना इसके square करोगे तो क्या मिलेगा? Two x square because minus का square will be positive. That is why the value of a is minus root two x का whole square. Okay? Let it be very clear. Then, so we can write it as a plus b plus c का whole square. Now a is minus root two x a plus b plus two root two. Z का होल स्क्वायर दिस इज द फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ दिस गिवन एक्सप्रेशन इन द आंसर इट माइट बी गिवन एज एज दिस टर्म इज गिवन पॉजिटिव एंड दीज टू टर्म्स आर गिवन नेगेटिव आंसर में ये नेगेटिव दिया सॉरी ये पॉजिटिव दिया होगा और ये दोनों टर्म्स नेगेटिव दिए होंगे है ना तो देखो सो इफ आई टेक माइनस साइन कॉमन फ्रॉम हियर इफ आई टेक नेगेटिव साइन कॉमन फ्रॉम हियर वॉट आई गेट इट विल बिकम पॉजिटिव सो वी कैन राइट इट एज टू रूट टू सॉरी रूट टू रूट टू एक्स सॉरी रूट टू एक्स सो राइट हियर रूट टू एक्स जब माइनस कॉमन लिया तो ये माइनस माइनस टू रूट टू जेड का होल स्क्वायर बोथ दीज आंसर आर करेक्ट बोथ दीज आंसर आर करेक्ट डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज ओके बिकॉज दे हैव टेकन निगेटिव साइन कॉमन फ्रॉम हियर दैट इज वाई दे हैव गॉट दिस आंसर दिस आंसर इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट एंड दिस आंसर इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट ओके Good luck. Study well. Keep solving the questions. Try to clarify your doubts by as these people are doing. Okay. Till then, good luck. Study well.